So you want to learn how to do redstone? Well, I think I can help you. What do you want to learn redstone for? Do you want to make computers? Do you want to make doors? Do you want to make traps? Do you want to make farms? Understand this. I can't make a video that would make you good in all redstone fields. What I can do, however, is give you the resources that will teach you specifics about a field that you want to learn about. In this video, I'm going to give you links and a methodology that's going to help you to get better. Because no amount of watching intricate components breakdown will get you good. But don't think I'm saying that these videos are useless. What I am saying is that you should only expect to learn how components work with them. Understanding redstone component won't lead you to knowing how to make great contraptions. It's not enough on its own. And this is why you need to follow these three pillars I will show you in this video. When I started Redstone, I only knew about resources on YouTube. YouTube is indeed a great tool, but only if you know how to use it. What I recommend you do is to create a separate YouTube account, which you can switch to in just a few clicks without entering all the password information every time. That's for one thing. You want to train the algorithm to show you Redstone content only. So on this new account, you'll only watch Redstone content, and YouTube will recommend you videos that are more and more niche. You wouldn't usually get these videos on your regular account, because you have too many topics of interest to account for. Therefore, YouTube will only show you videos that have a lots of views. Quickly, I can think of Cubic Meter, ENX04, and Ill Mango as the only channels that get hundreds of thousands of views regularly while presenting good quality redstone. But there are a ton of small channels like mine and even smaller that show top quality stuff that you wouldn't believe. The sad thing is that you're unlikely to find them if you don't curate your YouTube profile for the right recommendations. So start a new account that's gonna be dedicated to redstone only. Now I told you to do that, but you still don't know who to watch to start with. Well, you're in luck. If you go to my channel page, you'll be able to see everyone I'm subscribed to. And guess what? I created my YouTube channel just like I told you to do. These are all the people I find that are making quality redstone. Except for a few, they're just there for hate purposes, don't watch them, they're bad. But that sums up YouTube as a resource. The next big resource is going to be Discord. If you're not on Redstone Discord servers, you're missing out. Big time. What servers should you join? Glad you asked. You should join the Technical Minecraft Resources Archive first. You can find links to all sorts of stuff that's gonna help you with redstone. Some wiring hacks that will make your redstone much better, some mods that'll help you design machines better, some YouTube videos explaining and showcasing different concepts, and even a bunch of links that will lead you to other Discord servers specialized in different topics. I made this server because I wish I had that when I started doing redstone and I wanted to learn. I think I would have learned much faster if I had these links to everything I have access to today. So join my Discord server. The archive is gonna help you a lot. YouTube and Discord will be your meat and potatoes. That's where you'll find most of your knowledge. But you still need some vitamins and minerals elsewhere. In my experience, I can say that the best place to fill in the gaps is... In game. Wow, so I need to practice. I totally didn't see that one coming. Actually, no. Let him cook! I said let him cook! That's not where I was going. Practicing will help you, for sure. But learning on your own is a long and arduous process. Learning from others, on the other hand, is much faster and easier. If you have enough knowledge to reverse engineer something that they did, that is, analyzing other people's creations and figuring out how stuff works, it will teach you many useful things about wiring that you probably didn't know. You learn from real applications how to make compact systems best fit for their use scenario. If you can't be bothered to do that in game, you're missing out. I would recommend you at least check out the one white double contraptions featured on storage tech or elsewhere when you have time to kill on your phone away from your computer. I found that reading one white tileable contraptions helped me understand different wiring techniques that I never thought about. That includes smart sliders, composter silencing droppers, and many zero tick generators for example. And that is how you learn redstone. We didn't cover all the ways for you to learn in this video. I only wanted to focus on the main ones. If you don't know how some components work, I recommend you do seek out an explanation video about their functioning, but watching a video about every component won't make you a redstone genius. You'll need the resources on Discord servers, a lot of reverse engineering, and a lot of time practicing on your own contraptions. The link of the TMC resources archive will be in the video description. Thanks for watching.